Hello and welcome to this quick video. Uh, I'm going to show you today how I input content ideas into Tana. I've been using Tana for less than a week and it has changed my whole workflow. Well, not really changed it, but really enhanced it um, and enhanced a lot of the things I'm doing. I am loving the kind of combination of structured data, which I always have had in Notion, and then also the fluidity of a graph uh, or a block-based um, outliner, which I've always had in Rome, and now I'm kind of bringing that all together into Tana. So I'm gonna be sharing a whole lot of videos around different workflows that I'm building. But today I wanna get into how I capture ideas and I have kind of templates and flows uh, to be able to get all of that information really quickly. So let's dive in. All right, so this is the Tana interface and the easiest way to get any information is just to start typing. So let's say I have an idea for um, a long form article, for instance, uh, I would write that here, an idea for long form article. And then the way to get anything as a thing um, in Tana, so the, it's all good and well, you could use this as an outliner, but the real power is in these things called super tags. So anytime I have an idea, I call that a spark idea, right? And that's how I know that this is an idea I want for content. So you see that adds kind of this tag. And then if I open the node, I've got now some fields and a place where I can write. And that's um, how, uh, if you click on spark idea, you can set that up in the configure. So you can see here, I've got a whole lot of different um, fields that I have um, configured if something is a Spark idea. So I wanna capture a status. I wanna say what type it is, what is kind of the publish date for that. I wanna have a link to when I, I um, actually uh, put that out there um, and a whole lot of other things and then a really quick brain dump. So um, if I want to create a new field, so um, any kind of super tag can have just uh, default content. So let's say, like if you see this node here, a brain dump, that is kind of default content in any of my, in anything that's tagged as a Spark idea, um, you can, uh, it will show up and then, you know, I can easily start writing in there. Um, as that. The other kind of thing that you can define is these fields. So if I want to define a field, I just go shift with the, um, uh, the arrow this way. Um, and then that defines a field. Let's say I want to say, um, let's do type again, just so you can see. Now you can see all the different fields I already have set up as type, but we're just gonna go like this. If I click on this little icon, it gets me into the field type. I can choose any type of field, a fixed option. So if I wanna write the options down, so let's say you've got in progress, parked, done, that kind of thing. You can have some dynamic options, which is a bit more of an advanced um, and a whole lot of other things here. So if I want to have some fixed options, I can just type them in here. Um, parked, in progress, done. Okay. And so that way um, you can see it comes up straight away here and I can have a, an, a drop down there. Um, so that's how I, that's how I add ideas. It's really, really easy. The second thing I do is because sometimes when you're, um, uh, let's say you're in the middle of something, you think, oh, I've got an idea for, um, you know, for specifically for an article or specifically for a video or that kind of thing, then I want to kind of extend that and extend this template um, so that they there's specific fields and things like that for let's say a YouTube video like this. So what I do is I just have another tag that is YouTube video. And if I add that, then what happens is I actually get straight away YouTube video becomes the type. I have a script that um, is here in default content. So that comes from, let's have a look at this tag which is configure is in this tag, I've actually done a couple of things. I have, I've got this type field, um, which is actually this same type field. Okay. So when I chose this field, for instance, I can come here and I can see which one of these is used in spark idea. Cause that is the, the super tag that has, um, to has, has that field. So I choose that. What I do is I actually choose YouTube video as the default when I apply this tag. So if I've applied spark idea 
the field already go already comes into this node. And then if I apply YouTube video tag, the default type uh, comes in here. And then also I have some default content, um, which is how I write scripts for YouTube videos. So I have a welcome and an intro. And so that just makes it really easy to then say I have a, an idea um, and then I can uh, click on another node and have another idea for a video. And again, Spark idea, YouTube video, and then I can open it up and I can then either start dumping some things in here about the idea. And then when I'm ready to write the script, I can just open this up and start to fill the script in. Um, so that's the way to kind of capture things really, really easily. Obviously then you wanna be able to find things. The easiest way to do this, and, and Tana makes this so easy, is you can you can find, uh, you can create kind of these, they call them live searches. So if we wanna look for every everything that's tagged with Spark Idea and YouTube video, we simply go like this. We go Command K, I'm on a Mac, so if you're on something else, uh, it's probably Option K. Um, but that brings up this, uh, this kind of like command line. So we want to do find nodes and you see it kind of auto complete. So find nodes with a tag, we want spark idea. And we also want to see the tag YouTube video. Okay. And then we want to see it as a list. And so you can see straight away that now everything I've tagged, and this isn't just things I've tagged in this particular page. It is things I've tagged anywhere, okay? Um, so you can see there's a whole lot of things in here. Um, I can rename this. So I might say um, YouTube video ideas, okay? Um, and then I can click on live query. And if I need to uh, like update the query in any way, I can do that. I can also view it in different ways. So if I want to see it as a table instead, I could do that. Uh, if I wanted to see it as cards, I could do that. Um, I mostly look at things in lists. I just find it easier, but however you want to do that, I can also filter things. Um, so if I want to filter it by status, if I want to see anything that I've shipped, for instance, I haven't shipped any, um, but these are all uh, parked. I can, um, uh, I can see a whole lot of other type of kind of filters. Uh, I can sort it. I find this really great for all different, um, my all of my different content types. Um, so you can see down here, I've actually got my content hub. Um, and at the moment that's filtered to YouTube videos, but I can see all the different things from everywhere um, that I have uh, said that this is a spark idea and I want to kind of get this out into the world. So that's it. Um, that's kind of just one little workflow that I've found makes it really easy um, to uh, capture content that I want to create. So hopefully that was helpful and I'm excited to share some more workflows over uh, the next weeks and months as I start to use Tana a lot more. I really believe this is one of the most powerful personal knowledge management softwares out there and I am all in um, and I can't wait to share even more with you.